Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In our previous video, we have already seen that if we are having set of strings, if the set of strings are given, then how we can generate a general CFG for it. CFG means context free grammar. So we have already seen that. But in this video, we are going to see that how to generate context free grammar in case any regular expression is given to us. Right. In case of any set of strings given to us, we have already seen that how to generate CFG. But if regular expression is given, then how to determine CFG, we are going to learn in this video. Fine. Okay. So, let's get started. First one is, uh, let's see with the help of examples only. Right. Uh, in the first example, what it is given? R equal to, this R means nothing but the regular expression. What is given? Regular expression first that is given is a plus b star a a a plus b star now first the easier way to do is before constructing to uh, generate context free grammar the easiest step is first of all try to generate the language that which are the language or which are the set of strings that can be generated by this regular expression and with the help of that strings we can then generate cfg fine so here the regular expression shows that a a c it is very clear that whenever what the star means star means zero or more occurrence of it Z uh, what do i mean by zero or more occurrence means this thing can be there or cannot be there either zero or more occurrence zero means it can it is not there means it is possible that it is it will not be there or it can be there n number of times one time two time three time anything like that fine so this a plus b star means what is plus Plus is nothing but in regular expression plus denotes or. That means, uh, first of all, I will be having any number of combinations for A and B. Means I can have n number of A, I can have n number of B or I can have n number of A's and B's together or I can have none of them because this is zero or more occurrences. These two mean the same. And in between we are having AA. That means what? In this AA there is no star. That means this AA is compulsory. When we are having not star or plus anything, that means only A means before we can have any combinations of A and B. After AA we can have any any combinations of A and B. But in between this AA is compulsory. This has to be there. Fine. So which are the strings that can be generated from this? Mm, see, if I take zero occurrences of these two both, then I will get only AA, right? And then I can have several strings like uh, BAAB, AAA, 4A, 5A, whatever. I can have only Bs from this, that is BB, BAA or AA. They are taking this as null, directly taking AA and then taking anything like BAB for it or like that I can have n number of combinations for it. The only thing we understood for this now, okay, these are the set of strings that can be generated from this regular expression. Now our task is try to generate the context free grammar for this. Now context free for generating any context free grammar, we have to start with our starting symbol, let the starting symbol be S. So S gives, now how to generate context free grammar, first of all, what our observation is that AA is the only compulsory thing that is generated from R and before AA and after AA we are having n number of combinations of A and B but they are having star means zero or more occurrences they can or cannot be there. So first of all uh, remember this thing that whenever we are starting to generate the context free grammar from the starting symbol. Uh, this is a general case, right? You can have different types of different another another different combinations of context free grammars, different combinations of productions for any grammar, right? So I am showing just one of the way. So let me tell you uh, the general way how it will be easier for you. From the starting symbol, in the very first production, try to do the thing like here see a plus b n number of a plus b are there so this is n number of thing means it can be or cannot be there so this is altogether a different case so what we will do is we will assign a different variable for this case see these both cases are same so for example i am taking the variable capital a 
what is variable variable means non terminal variable or non terminals are expressed by capital letters fine so let let me symbolize this thing by capital a so capital a and this is compulsory thing so always from the starting symbol write the compuls whatever compulsory string is there write that compulsory string in the first production only so what i have done i have uh, assigned this a plus b star as a this is also same so i will assign i will replace this also with a and in between i am having a a that is terminal that is compulsory element so i will write it as it is fine so this is my starting symbol now i have defined this capital a variable whenever i am having any variable in the rhs of my production in the rhs of my production whenever i am having variable i have to write another production for that particular variable i cannot leave it as it is fine so the only variable i am having in rhs is capital a so we will write another production for this capital a now capital a gives what n number of combinations of a and b right a or b actually means only a can be there only b can be there combination of a b can be there so how we can write it it can have only combinations of a so a a it can have combinations of b so b and again a uh, why we are writing again a is uh after a and after b why i am writing again capital a capital b because there are n occurrences you are getting n occurrences means there will be look kind of thing that i am writing a and then again i am calling capital a i am writing a again i am writing capital a so it will help you when you are having n number of a's or n number of b's for example in this case we are having three b's together so in that case what we will use we will use this ba this production ba three times okay i will show you how to derive this also so you will get a clear idea and these are zero or n occurrences means it is possible that they won't be there so in that case i have to write null also whenever we are having star that is zero or more occurrences we have to write null to support it null means zero occurrence no occurrence fine so whenever we are having zero here we will take this production a gives null so this is our grammar that is generated for this asked regular expression now how to check our grammar is correct or not as i uh, told you in the previous video also in order to check that my this grammar is correct or not what it should uh, do it should accept all the strings that are available in l and second it should not accept any string that is not a part of l simple so how we will check we will check uh, randomly two three strings that either they can be generated from this grammar or not so let's try to generate this triple a how we can generate this triple a uh, to generate this triple a first of all we have to start with starting symbol starting symbol is a a a and a now i know this i have to generate triple a so what i can do i can keep this a as it is this is double a as it is now in place of this a what i can write this a can be replaced with small a capital a so let me do that small a capital a now i want to generate triple a triple a is already generated no more capital a's are required so i can simply uh, replace these two capital a's with null so replacing these two capital a's with null is this and what is null null means nothing i can simply remove the null null means no element null element so i can simply remove them these are epsilon epsilon are used to uh, show null to symbolize null fine so these are null i can simply ignore them triple a is generated and now let's try to generate something else uh, also a a b a b for example i want to generate this string i have to check that my grammar is accepting these strings or not so again starting with s gives a a a capital a now i want to i i know that my string is starting from a a means this a a my string is starting from here i don't want anything before it so what i can do i can replace this first a with null a a a null means i can remove it so i can write a a a now after a a i want b a b so i can replace this a with b a so b a now after b i want a so i can replace this a a b as it is i can replace this a with a a 
now i have got a a b a and at last i want b so a a b a as it is now i can replace this a with b a b a now i have already got my string a a b a b now this a is unwanted so i can replace them it with a gives null so i can replace this with null and null means nothing so i will simply get a a b a b so this string is also generated then i am having a a a can be generated how it can be generated simply i can take as gives a a a capital a and then a a i just want a a so i can just replace this two capital a's with null so simply i will get a a small a small a so it is that simple that the only thing you have to remember is the starting symbol should contain the compulsory thing whatever it is compulsory and whatever we are having another things we should have we should assign one variable to it and then we will give the production to that variable such that all the strings are generated so let's see one more example r gives 0 star 1 so in this case this is my generated grammar fine now let's see second example r equal to 0 star 1 0 plus 1 star so again this means what zero or more occurrences of zero then this one is compulsory and again zero or one means n number of combinations of zero and one zero or more combinations of zero or one how we can do it let's write the different combination of strings that are possible through it so which are the different combination of string we can have one is compulsory right so the least number of or minimum length of string that can be generated from this is one because this one is compulsory it have to be there one can be there zero one can be there one zero one zero one can be there if i am taking this as zero so i can have zero zero one from here zero zero and one from here uh, simply i can have i can take zero occurrences of this and i can have this kind of thing right these are the various strings that can be generated now how to write the grammar for it s gives starting with the starting symbol again the same thing what i can do the zero or more occurrences like this and this i can assign any variable to it so in this case what was there these both were same so i have assigned capital a for both of them but in this case these two are different so i have to assign different variables for both of them so let me assign capital a for one and capital b for another so let me assign capital a for this this one is compulsory so this one as it is and let me assign capital b variable for this simple now as i told in rhs i am having two variables a and b so now i have to write productions for them so now capital a we have written capital a for what for zero star right for zero star we have written so in this case i will be having zero and as i told for loop for multiple i have to write zero and a means zero and if i want multiple zero i am again calling a so zero gives uh, a gives zero a because it is zero star and star means zero or more occurrences so i have already handled more occurrences but what in case of zero means null so i have to give null also so this is done now for this for this i am i have taken b variable so writing the production for b it is same as this see a plus b star this is 0 plus 1 star and here so we have taken a a b a or null in the similar way in this case we will take 0 this is b same loop right so 0 b or 1 b or null right it is the same case as this was so that's it this is my grammar required grammar now how i can check it let's take one two examples for example i want to generate this 10101 10, so i have to start with the starting symbol a 1 b now i can see that i have to start with one means i have to start with one this one means this a is not needed so simply what i can do replace this a with null so replacing a with null means just removing it because null means nothing so a is removed and 1 b now what we want after i am generating this string okay 10101 now after one what i want zero so what i can do this one as it is i can replace this this b with 0 b so 0 b now 10 as it is replacing this b with 1 b now 101 as it is replacing this b with 0 b what i want 10101 i have already got 10 10 now only one is 
left so 1010 as it is in place of b i am writing 1b fine 10101 my string is already generated i can simply replace now i can simply replace this b with null replacing this b with null i will get only this much 10101 it is generated fine i will get this 10101 fine okay let's take one more example 001 how we can generate 001 i will start with the starting symbol a1 b 001 means this is one i am already having so in place of a i can replace my a with 0a so replacing a with 0a i will get this now 0 as it is again i will replace this a also by 0a now as it is now what i want 001 so 00 is already there One is already there. Now what I will do? This A and B is now unwanted. We don't want them. So how I can replace this A? I can replace this A with null. So replacing this A with null. Null means nothing. We can simply remove it. Zero zero one B. Now this B is also unwanted. I will replace this B also with null. Null means nothing. So I will get one zero zero one. And in what? In in order to generate this one, what I can do? I will start with a one b a I will replace with null b I will replace with one then I will be left with only one so it will be generated fine so this is the uh, overall thing you have to remember that you have to start with whatever compulsory is there and whatever zero or more occurrences are there you have to write another variable for it and you have to write the variables production again in order to generate whatever the thing you want to generate and if there is zero or more occurrences means if you are having star then null will also be a part of your rhs so these are the small small things that you have to remember otherwise this is an easier topic fine thank you so much